shit know it's turn up. Knock that light side in it, bitch. Knock that light side in it, bitch. Roll that ice up on my wrist. Diamonds on my wrist. <clears throat> Man, I don't know the band. Okay, we had a few of our, your fans send in a few questions for us for today. Today, you know, that's what's up. Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so we have what is your favorite collabo? So, collaboration, of course. Uh, it, the person or the song? How, how you wish I can answer both? One really, though. I guess we can go through both. My favorite collaboration off the top I, is Zero. He's a very talented artist. We do not work together today, mm -hmm. but we created great music, and I know my fans can vouch for that, you mm -hmm. know. And one of the greatest songs that we, me and him have collaborated on till this day that I be feeling like my show is incomplete if I don't perform it and I do an acapella. It's night, it's a struggle and pain. I can't see through the rain. That's my version of it today. You know, you upgrade on certain stuff that's just classic and hits, but the life is a struggle and pain. That's that song, that song. It saved many people's lives and even mine mentally, and it helps a lot, but it's jamming, and it wasn't nothing but some congos in there, and I think a piano playing, you know? I love that song, and I know my fans do too. Thank y'all for keeping it alive. <laughs> so when you make your music, are you going into the studio with the intention that you're making this song to touch lives? Is that your goal? Or yeah, every time I write. When I start writing, whatever type song, sometimes you, you I, I, my thing that I love to do in, in music, my number one thing when I write music is to write real life music. I love those melodic hooks that I sing with a real life story behind it. But those are not the songs they're going to play in the club. Mm -hmm. So even at the same time when I do club songs, I still want it to be something that's inspirational to you, uplifting to you, have fun. I'm not telling nobody to go do anything that I wouldn't do or anything outside the will of God like that. So... It's a way I feel like um, you you make it fun, you know. So I go in with intentions. It depends on it depends on what I'm going there for. What what who I'm gonna do a feature with? What type of song we gonna do? You know. But I always like to keep it real. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put anything down verbally on any recording in any recording studio on paper that is not 100 or not me. Was that how? Well, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, was that how you always were, or did like that become a development? Like when you first started writing, was that was it? You had one intention when you first started, and you have a new intention now that you have fans and then you have a following. I think when I always first kind of started writing music, I always kind of wrote like that first because I always told my life through my music. Mm -hmm. So my music was my therapy. So it, for me, I used to write music that that helped me. And at the same time, as time has passed, I realized how it touched so many other people because you're not the only person that go through what you go through and what you've been through. So, so many other people related to it, like, when how I felt when I was writing it, when I was releasing, you know? And it was real. That's why they felt it like that. That's why when you hear a pastor saying a sermon, it's so real, you feel in that because you, it's real. You feel me? I can create a story, yeah, and it's fun, but then you're not going to feel that depth of that, that song or that sermon. You know what I'm saying? If I just tell you the story. Of some I made up or <laughs> whatever I heard, but when it's real, you definitely can feel it. Now you are very close with K Reno. Yes. You know, y'all make that publicly known. Y'all are really close friends. Yeah. How does do you see anyone outside of him who can that's coming up now that may be able to feel not feel that void, but do what he's doing? Do what K Reno's doing as far as like as the movement with the SPC and just as far as putting the, the soul that he puts into music and bringing it to oh, life. Oh, what like he's me. doing. Hey, I just got to be honest with you. I mean, there may be some that's out there, but I ain't heard them. But I respect him as an artist, his creativity. He's going to keep it real and wouldn't believe in the song. And, but he's the type of artist that he creates. And now this is something different. Now, the things that he's literally saying, they're not literally doing it because they do like kind of crazy music, you know, like, when I say crazy, like Alien Baby was one of his albums, and he <laughs> might give you a story that you kind of put in the whole picture in your head, but you know subliminally what he's meaning out of it. Mm -hmm. But the his form and his technique of how he do it, I ain't heard nobody do it like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To make you listen, you know. But he does. 
a lot of different type of music that a lot of his his fans can relate to where y'all in the UK because they buy our albums like for real and they support us to the fullest like half our artwork and the stuff that's going on online that they see come from a lot of those people that's from overseas big shout out to um, Southern Citizen if he's listening in Thomas uh, he always showed SBC love he just do our work for us even if we don't even ask just help promote and push he do more for us than the people that's over here with us you know, like they in the UK, they really loyal about it. And when we have a, a, a anniversary every year, they even fly down. They come to the states and put it down with us for real. That's how loyal it is. Okay, we don't got a fan base alone with just his fan base. He good mm-hmm. with his fan base and nobody. They never. That's why he's staying where he's staying. With they never play me on the radio. You know what I mean? Right. You know, and you know we have our politics in the game. You know they used to play cliche on some major radio stations out here. You know what I'm saying? But then they don't because nowadays a lot of DJs are starting to be record labels and have their own artists. So then they want you know, right. and it get crazy like that. But you know what God has for you is for you. And can't nobody stop you from that. So that's one thing with me. It's okay if you don't hear me on certain radio stations. That's okay. You ain't the only radio station. We got the Court 94. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Now you hear me now though. Or you, do you hear me now? I, I think so. I'm here. You feel me? Some of your talents don't have the access to get a lot of our music, but they love Houston. Right. Houston is on right now. Ain't no way cliche ain't supposed to be popping right now. So that's why I ain't hearing it. I ain't hearing it this round. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Houston is on. The whole world singing Houston songs that ain't from Houston. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Everything. Oh, I made the game, made me fuck the hustle with hard Running hand in hand for the bread and not a deal taking all Had no gas for the car, so we stayed on the block Posted up, press products looking like we some <laughs> Had to deal with flex, but they couldn't hold me down My mom was on my morning, tell me how you like me now I ain't got to follow your rap flow and get on the radio Cause I'm a trendsetter, so Mr. DJ, let's go hey, Everybody already know, cliche, so this little mama gonna wreck up I ain't even got a cuss in my rhyme no more to feel in the places for them rappers with no flow. I'm still from the eight to still jam through taste. And hate to still hate, and I still put it in their face. Never forget the place that made me appreciate my time. That's why I never slow down on my grind. I said I played the game. Yeah, buddy, that's what we talked about. <laughs> they ain't pay me, but the hustle was hard. Oh, I made the game, made it. Boy, it's my girl, Miss Torch, from the Ice Cube single. You can do it, put your back in my hand. I got a lot of tracks getting on the track. Yeah. Did the mixtape, baby, yes, it came new. Then went back to the south with cliche. What it do? Still handle biz. Y'all know what it is. Did the militia again with G10 it did. That was all three. Now I'm back up in the streets. Had to be. Me and Payback Independent, that's a starter. Don't so label me a martyr, but I might have a lick father. Pop water, now I got this metal paid up in my ankle. The streets are hard, they let me fall, but I really would like to thank them. My next one was my best move when I got away from my ex. <laughs> I'm so the shuffle, now you really know I'm the best. Keep it from the bottom just to show me why I'm blessed. What up, T? Yeah, see your daddy's next week, no more talking about Oh, 
Take for past life. I get it how I live. I hope the heart for real. Hold up, payback. Oh, I made it. The gang pay us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.